Our next guest is a native New Yorker who tells it like it is. She's got a book out. It's called Whatever Land, <laughs> Jennifer Koppelman Hutt. Uh, and it's a book about learning to live. It's advice, and, and not like your mother's advice. Okay, and by the way, she co-wrote it with Alexis Stewart, daughter of Martha. Jennifer, welcome Hi. to the show. Thanks for having me. All right, so what's it about? Well, you're right, Rosanna. It is self-help, but it's anecdotal self-help. So pretty much Alexis and I go through everything that went on in our upbringings and our childhood and how we got through them. And specifically, me, I'm nuts and have tons of anxiety. <laughs> you seem very, you know, well-adjusted and, and No, well not at down. all. No, she not sleeps even next to a panic button, according I do. to the book. Yeah. Well, I have an alarm that calls the police, but then I also have a panic button. In case and a husband who would beat someone up, I would hope. In case someone enters the yeah, house, uh -huh. really? Yeah, I'm just. I worry about everything. Uh huh. I, you know, on page 172, um, you talk about uh, losing weight. Yes. You talk about how you talk about it. Yes. And how Alexis would get mad at you because right. you talked about it. Yeah. But obviously, you stopped talking about it. Right. And, and you've lost. The yeah, but I still talk. Well, I talk about it a lot because if if you, I was fat. I was like. Well, there, see, you can see. You look see. beautiful there. I see no problem. I don't think I really look particularly pretty, but um, I had gotten really fat, and I freaked out about it, and then I changed everything. What'd you do? And it took me over a year to lose close to 70 pounds. Wow. Yeah. Well, well I, done. I, I How'd you do? Diet exercise? Yeah, a Special lot diet? Of, no, every diet. So every, every diet. single mm -hmm. diet that you've ever heard of, I kind of combined them and did different things on different days and different weeks so that I didn't lose interest <laughs> in whatever I was doing. i got to ask you about Alexis, your co-author yes. on this book. Let's put the book cover up. Alexis yes. and Jennifer, you guys look like a team. You have a radio show yes, together. Yes, we did. Uh, yeah, from what I'm <laughs> and hearing. And a TV show. Right. We did. Three, they're all gone. There's been a divorce. Yes. What's between wrong? The two Not between my husband. I understand. Yeah, between between the, two the two of you, yes. Yes. Well, she dumped me. Why? But that's okay because my listeners and my fans didn't. So ultimately, I'm all right, thankfully. She, why? What happened? Well, I... What did you do? So how do you know she did something? I think I just breathed the wrong way, <laughs> and ultimately sense. that was that. No, I just think that we're very different people, and we worked together for a long time. An on-air partnership that lasts close to six years, I think, is quite an accomplishment. You came on so. this show several times with Alexis. Yeah. Can I just say, I just always felt that she was like living in her mother's shadow. She wanted to be so much like her mother that she couldn't accept anybody else. Yeah, I, I well, don't know. I'm I don't, not a psychologist, yeah, I don't psychiatrist, think that's it. whatever. No, I think she's very much her own person, and I think she's quite talented, quite smart, really funny, but she's and angry. beautiful to no, look at. No, she's not. Angry. Well, 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 let me just I think tell she's self-professed angry. She, it, she doesn't pretend to not be angry. I think it's just part of who she well, is. She was a perfectly nice guest when she was here, uh, but. I think you guys work well together, but it's over. I mean, you're 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 not friends. You're not talking. Oh, you're yeah, not no, it's in touch. totally over. Mm. Yeah, but the friendship thing must hurt more than. Yeah, it broke the... my heart. But but I'm a 41 year old mother of two kids with a terrific husband and a yeah, full life. Yeah, your husband's cute, by the way. He's so cute yes. and he's kind. So it's not a big deal. I still get to work. I do my show. I love my audience. I love what I do. Has Martha oh, okay. Stewart declared war on you? Is she coming out? <laughs> yes, she has. No, no, of course not. Okay. That would be ridiculous. Right, She's only no, good to me. No burn bridges. Right no. Oh, okay. why? All right, listen, too in short. the book, you talk about that you're a crier. Did you cry yes, over this? Yes, I cry over everything, of course. Yeah. Yeah, this, a this lot. It's going to toughen mm -hmm. you up. I don't think I have that ability to be tough. Uh, I ask my kids if they're scared of me. They say no. <laughs> All I want is for one person, one time, somewhere to be afraid of me. So we got the book, and you're going to have a new radio show potentially next year? Well, I'm still on the air on Martha's Channel through this month, mm -hmm. and then they've let me go. And so you know, hopefully I'll wind up elsewhere on Sirius XM. And the same thing with your, your TV show? Yeah, TV shows are just, they're, they're done, and if more opportunities come up, that would be great. But... Um, all right, yeah, she's, available. she's available. She's available. Yes, you never hire know. Me. I'm hire good. her. <laughs> and listen, you come with like a heavyweight. Your yeah, dad's my here. dad. Charles mm -hmm. Koppelman's here with you today. I mean, yeah. really, who gets escorted by a man? Well, who's he's like... here because he's a huge fan of yours. Well, well it's that's not right. about me. What's his story? Tell us. Who my dad? Yeah. You don't oh, know God. who our dad is? Well, I just met him. He seems like a very nice gentleman. But uh, for oh. those who don't know, tell us. Well, for me, he's my dad. But um, he's been in the music business for a gazillion years. He's on the board of Martha Stewart's company for the past five or six years, and he's working with a lot of big shots, and he is in fact, super he, smart. He and after we went on the J-Lo rampage mm. that he uh, knows J-Lo and does. Mark Anthony yeah, and represents true. both of them. Yeah.
So I said, Why is he I'm waving sorry. his hands? And he dresses so really, I really said well. I was sorry <laughs> and whatever land. Yeah. No, but for me, he's he's yeah. um, he's a great grandfather to my kids and my sister and my brother's kids, and he now got an iPhone, so he's good at texting. Listen, Jennifer, impressive. I I think you and uh, Alexis have to work things out. And it's, uh, she's going really her own okay. way. I think I'm you good. Crazy. Whatever land, I'm, she's I'm going right. her own way. This now. is the worst time for you guys to break up. You're on a book tour. Well, that's a tough thing, but hopefully people still buy it. The book's message is just be okay who you are, live with your foibles, enjoy them, laugh through the pain, and move forward. I like that. Yeah. Happy nice. holidays. Thank you. Thank good you for to having see me. You. On. Good to see you. You're the nicest success. family. Thank you, and yours as Thanks. well. Greg, say <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Goodbye. Oh, nice to see you. All right, coming up on Good Day New York, Adriana Lima. Did she. Thank you, and. Uh